Let's talk about these closet tools that every girl needs in her closet. Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Today I wanted to come to you with some closet tools, essentials, that you should have in your wardrobe, your closet, so that it can be functional. Typically you should have in your wardrobe and you most likely do have and some of the items you may not have because I don't even have them. Well, I ran out. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. The first item are these amazing shoe stretchers. I did a video on these a while ago and I'll try to link it if I can. Shoe stretchers are something that I keep in my wardrobe as a tall woman and here's why. I have wide feet and 99% of the times the shoes that brands are selling in wide are not cute. Stuart Weitzman is probably the only company that has pretty decent shoes as far as wide. So these are not to stretch out my entire shoe. No, if it's too small, it's too small. These are gonna do is they're gonna just give me a little bit of give way in like some of the areas where the holes are positioned if I feel like it's a little tight. They have a ton of shoe stretchers in different styles. And what you do is you basically just stick it in your shoe, you turn it and you stretch it, right? There's shoe stretchers that go this way, up and down. Um, and then there's some that actually stretch the back of your shoe. Now for those who would need the back of their shoe stretch, I would be careful with that because what happens is sometimes a shoe maker cobbler can actually stretch it too much and then the seam in the back of your shoe if there is a seam that it could actually start to loosen up but a shoe stretcher shoe stretchers <laughs> are an essential for my wardrobe if you have an issue with a pinky toe <laughs> and you need like a little space definitely invest in these these are by the brand foot fitter and i had these for many many years now like a lot of years and they're still in great condition and they, like I said, they have a ton. So they have some for boots and they have some that will stretch your shoe the opposite way. In addition, this spray. <laughs> you need the shoe stretcher spray to go along with your shoe stretcher. I have not had any issues with these actually like tearing up any leather that I have. Um, I have not used them on suede. Now suede, I don't know if you're gonna be stretching suede, probably not. But also, I would not recommend trying to stretch a shoe that is not 100% leather. It's probably not gonna give you enough space that you are looking for. So, shoe stretcher and the shoe stretcher spray are essentials for your wardrobe. These are just great tools to have and it'll make life easier, especially if you see a shoe that you want in the store and it's just like maybe the buckle or something is just like digging, because it happens, you can definitely get these. The next thing you want to have in your closet would be a lint roller. There are many, many lint rollers out there. There's lint brushes and lint rollers, so they are different. This one by Scotch Bright comes with 56 sheets. So you basically, you know, you just tear it off and then you just kind of roll it over your clothes. I think this is a really good item to have, especially if you do have children or if your house collects a ton of dust. Dust is in the air. We sometimes don't see it unless that sun is peeking it and then we see a ton of it like floating in the air, but it's here. And sometimes we have our clothes in an open closet like myself and what happens is the dust is just like over the items and you can just take a lint brush and clean it off. I would recommend having a smaller one in your purse. Why? Because you never know where you're gonna be that day and if someone has a cat or a dog or they just, just have a ton of whatever in the home and it's on your clothes, you can definitely just use this, get it off. But this is something that I would always recommend women have. When I was in New York, I remember getting on the subway and a lady was going to work and I had on a, a jacket that was a dark color and so did she and she had a ton of cat hair on her coat. Young me was saying, in my head, I'm already smelling a cat. Like I'm smelling cat because I see all this cat hair. She didn't think anything was wrong with it. This other lady was looking at me. We were just like, it was just a lot of cat hair. So I know she did not check her clothes before she walked out the door. So this is just a really good thing to have even at your desk at work because again, you never know what's gonna happen. So a limp brush, 
or lint roller is something that I feel that is a necessity for your closet. The third thing is a measuring tape. As a tall girl, if you do not have a measuring tape in your closet, you are doing yourself a disservice. Measurement tapes are really good to measure yourself even if you are shopping online. It's a good way to like gauge items that some brands kind of detail out in their description. Most brands who do not put this details, I'll be honest, I'm usually like clicking off the site or I can actually go into the store and try the item on. This is for my tall girls, even my petite girls, plus size girls as well. Read those labels, get you a measurement tape, get a ton of them, carry one in your bag if you need to. That is what I do. They're very small and they're very cheap and affordable. And it's just a good way to make sure that you are buying the proper item and fit for yourself. Instead of going to a store and doing the old school picture jeans around your neck situation, uh, you can definitely just bring one of these if you wanted to. Like I said, they're affordable and they are a must have for your closet. I think this is a really good tool just to have in general, regardless of your height, weight, um, and size. So a measuring tape is the third thing. The fourth thing would be a sewing kit. Sewing kits are packed with a ton of things that we don't really realize that we need until we're taking something to get tweaked at a tailor or tweaked at a cleaners or something. But a sewing kit is essential to my closet. There's a bunch of thread in here, multiple colors that pretty much go with a lot of the pieces in my closet. So if a button pops off, I can definitely go ahead in here, grab one of the threads and kind of go from there. So there's a slew of colors and they come with, of course, the needles. And you can always buy more needles. What else is in here? They have the thing to help you put the needle in, the thread in. So it's a slew of things. On the other side, there are some scissors some push pins, some more measuring tape, got some scissors, more measuring tape, just a really good toolkit to have. If you want to leave your pins out, it comes with that little cushion to stick your pins in. But if you do not have a sewing kit that comes with a ton of these, definitely get you one. You should be okay with getting like a nice little small one. This is this is a decent size, but they do have smaller ones. So definitely look into getting you a toolkit for your closet. I think it's a really good essential to have as far as your tools. The fifth thing would be a steamer. Okay, they have tons of steamers. I got this one from Target and I absolutely love it. You put some water in here and you go about your business. Now, a lot of the steamers do tell you to use distilled water probably best especially if you live in an area where there's hard water it can eventually build up inside and make sure you are drying out the piece in the bag like just whatever you, whenever you're done take out your water nozzle and let it air out this is by the brand Rowenta and I absolutely love it it comes with like some brushes here which you can actually take this off I just always leave it on there just so it can roll across my clothes but a steamer is another essential that is needed for your your closet they do have the standing one if you have the space for that that is cool which leads me to my next thing i have a valet rod which is an essential for me you can put your outfits of the day on there you can hang a few items on it that you want to show content for maybe your week's worth of clothes so if I wanted to steam a dress or something, I'm just gonna hang it on my valet rod and then I'm just gonna use my steamer. So a valet rod and a steamer are essentials that I feel like will help you in your day to day as far as getting dressed, preparing your clothes for an event and anything else. So get you a steamer and get you a valet rod. The seventh thing I would say it would be velvet hangers. The reason why I'm saying velvet hangers specifically is because they are a lot thinner than those plastic hangers. You can also get wood hangers as well if you do not have a ton of clothes. Wood hangers are extremely nice and they're very durable, uh, but these are great. They have a ton of colors, but here's the thing about buying multiple colors or other colors as opposed to whites, cream, those are even hard as opposed to black. If you do not buy the item from the same brand, you're gonna have a hard time matching the colors up. Even if you go, sometimes you go to like 
Bed Bath & Beyond or like Walmart, you may see some discoloration in some of the hangers. So your safe bet would be get black. But I will tell you this, the black sometimes rubs off. I don't know if it's like some sort of dye or something. So what you can do is you can take a cloth and you can wipe all of your hangers down when you start to hang your clothes up. So velvet hangers would be another item that would be a great tool and tools to have in your wardrobe. So always have like an additional box because we are always shopping and you don't want to ever run out of your hangers. The eighth thing would be cedar balls. I do not have any more right now so I'm just gonna pop in a picture of them. Cedar balls are really good if you have like just dust, well, dust mites are all over, right? So dust mites and kind of keeping your clothes fresh. So get your cedar balls, they have a ton. They have the balls itself and they also have the ones that you could actually hang up in your closet. Those are great if you don't want anything like sitting at the bottom of your closet or even on the floor in your bedroom. Cedar balls are another item that it's a good tool to have in your closet. The ninth thing would be a full length mirror. I'm gonna try to pop in a picture of mine. If it comes out good, if not, I'll pull one from offline. And I'm gonna pop in the one from Ikea because their mirrors are huge and they are very affordable. If you do not have the space for a full length mirror, you can still get a full length mirror and get someone to put it on your wall. That way it's not taking space off of the floor. And I'm sure you have some sort of door in your room where you can put that mirror on the back of your door. If it's not the Ikea one, you can just definitely get one that hooks over. That way you still have the luxury of looking at yourself fully before you leave the home. So a full length mirror is number nine. And the last thing I wanna say is double-sided tape. If you have outfits, dresses, tops that are low cut and you need to pull your boobies to the side or lift them up, Definitely get you some double-sided tape. It's really needed for the girls who wear the items like that. If you're not into that, you can definitely just find a really good bra that will lift you and kind of like separate and all that good stuff. But definitely try to get you some double-sided tape, especially for shirts where you just want them to stay in place in a certain in a certain area for a shirt like this that i have on if i wanted this to sit just like this i'm just gonna get me some double-sided tape and stick it here and i'm done i think it's a good idea to start building a little stack of these things because they are needed they are essentials and they actually help you get dressed quicker also if you have like a little snafu in your closet you have some of these items that you can pick up and fix it yourself without having to take it to a cleaners or someone else to fix it. So those are essential tools that you need in your closet that's gonna make your life a lot easier. You can use some of these and add in others that you actually need. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style blog Coco Styles NYC and my personal style services Coco Styles NY and I'm on TikTok, Coco Styles NYC. And make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.